We are simplifying, so factor, numerator, and denominator, then divide out common factors. By the way, if you did not study the sum or difference of cubes, factoring the sum or difference of cubes, then go ahead and skip this exercise. Now I'll factor in the numerator. I simply rewrite x plus 3, no factoring that can be done there. In the denominator, this is the sum of two cubes. By the way, remember I always like to take that intermediate step of writing each term as a cube. Do you agree that x cubed is, of course, x cubed, and 27 is 3 cubed, and that helps me factor? Because the binomial, then, is simply, if I cover up the cubes, it's simply x plus 3. And then the trinomial factor of the factorization of this denominator can be found working off of this binomial factor. This is always first term squared, opposite sign, first times second, and then always a plus, second one squared. 3 squared is 9. So I have completely factored the numerator, I have completely factored the denominator, and now we look for any common factors. Notice there's a common factor of x plus 3, and if I factor them out, what do I have? 1 in the numerator over x squared minus 3x plus 9. By the way, if you are wondering, this factor cannot be factored further. So I am now in simplest form.